here I can give my own insight because, because I have a, a third line. Um, and it's all about embodying and practicing the things, um, in my case, that I'm also a line one, that I investigated. Like you do this investigation process and then I need to put it into practice. I need to actually embody it and do it and see, see what happens when you do that. And then you need to make mistakes. And once you make those mistakes, you learn how to do it better the next time. Efficiency comes really easy for the line three because you make the mistakes, it's like, I need to correct that. And then you try a couple of times and after a lot of times, you really polish this process of doing whatever it is that you're doing. And another thing that the line three really needs is variety. We need different things to be excited. We need different things to light up our interest, you know, and try different things. And this process is interesting because trying something else will sometimes give you insights on a completely different discipline or something like that. So maybe by learning meditation, uh, you learn more about, um, I don't know, surfing or any uh, sport that you do or about doing your work or cooking. That insight from this other thing that you tried, you use the same methods, the same flow that you learn from other activities and you implement them into everything that you do. So it kind of like creates your, your personality. So I would say my main uh, insights or, or my main characteristics of the third line would be trying new things, making mistakes, and making the whole process a lot more efficient. Yeah. So what's your, your experience with the third line? Well, I mean, the third line is about so many things. The third line is about movement. It's about stimulation. It's about change. It's about exploration. It's about a lot of, you know... I, it's very much connected to this element of fire. You know, there's, there's a lot of heat and, 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 uh, and movement is in this uh, third line. The third line is here to constantly explore, you know, and the third line is called the martyr, actually. Uh, why? Because those explorations, it's a, it leads to a lot of mistakes, actually. It leads to a lot of experiences, and some of those experiences are not going to be pleasant. You know, it's the line of trial and error. And it's costly to make those errors, you know, it's going to cost you, it's going to be uh, physical mistakes, it's going to be financial mistakes, it's going to be relationship mistakes, it's going to tax you all, the, like every time you have to pay price, you know. And that's also why, well, the shadow of that is that the third line is the most negative of all the, of all the lines, because it's like, fuck, you know, so many things in this world that actually don't work, you know, it's like, really one mistake and I have to pay such a heavy <laughs> price whether it's like an emotional price or physical price or you know it's like there's this thing like fuck's sake you know and so it can be very uh, negative actually and and that's the what the third line has to be careful of is to not go too much into this negativity you know like the, the gift of the third line is resi resilience is this thing like you've been you know on the floor so many times and everything's like I'm still up, you know, I'm still here, I'm still going, you know, basically. And, and the whole world is looking at the third line like, Jesus, you know, like, that's some real resilience because you're still going strong, you know, like the next day you wake up and you're back at it, you know, and that's the real gift here is this resilience and you need this resilience to go through all of those experiences. And we're all very grateful for your experiences, mm -hmm. you know, because especially the higher lines, which are more about this transpersonal thing mm -hmm. uh, of sharing, like, you know, the higher lines are very grateful for the first line's explorations. Uh, I mean, first line, sorry, investigation and for the third line explorations, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why there's such a nice relationship between the one, three profile and the four, six, you know, because the four, six is looking at the one, three, like, okay, how can I uh, share all of those findings with the world, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and the third line needs freshness that's the thing the third line needs to constantly it needs to feel free to constantly reinvent itself yeah that it's like one process go through it okay i've tried this move on you know and it's the worst thing if you have a if you have a third line child and you see them you know trying so many different things the worst thing that you can do to them is make them feel guilty or make them feel like there's something wrong with them because then they keep on trying so many things they're literally here to do that. Mm -hmm. 
at one point something or a few things will stick, but let them go through the experiments. You know, the worst thing you can do is pressure the third line into like finding this one thing, you know, and, and you know, like that's really the thing. It's like, again, like if, if a parent is like, you know, uh, you're, you're 18, you know, and it's really time, like you, you, you need to find this one thing in life and not just that, but once you find it, it's going to be for the rest of your life and you need to stick to it. That kind of pressure is the worst thing you can do to a third line, the worst thing. Um, or like in business, you know, the third line, you need to niche down and you need to find this one strategy and you need to stick to that one strategy and you need to keep on doing, no, fuck that. The, the, the third line is meant to constantly reinvent itself and it goes with relationships as well, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you, in your case, for example, you're a third line uh, unconscious and so it's going to show up a lot in your relationship patterns mm -hmm. and the third line uh, again, the, the, the shadow of it, uh, you know, is this escape artist thing of uh, not actually completing any process mm -hmm. and, and, and opening one box with someone and then just kind of leaving it. And also like a certain tendency of running away from depth and intensity and, and uh, difficulties. And it's like, oh, when it gets unpleasant, just moving on. And so the advice for the third line in relationship is get to the conclusion of all processes, you know, like stick with it, go a bit deeper into it and, and take your time before, before just, just, just moving on, you know, make sure that that process has come to full completion before you move on and, and to not run away from confrontation or from emotionally intense situations. Uh, and funnily enough, the third line keeps on attracting in its life usually a lot of drama. So mm -hmm. it's either the third line being very dramatic and then running away from their own emotional pain, or it's the third line creating a lot of drama and emotional pain in others and then be like, oh, you know, I don't want to be around this. Mm -hmm. But this theme of drama and emotional, you know, unpleasant things, it, it keeps coming back for the third line in relationships. Now the gift is this thing of freshness, you know, in relationships. Um, and freshness, lightness, also like it doesn't all need to be so serious. The ability to uh, laugh also with, but uh, from a very compassionate place about your own human nature and, and the nature of others, like a deeper state of, of acceptance actually for everybody's, for, for everybody's emotions. Um, and with this gift of freshness, we talked about this before with you, this thing of a very fast refresh rate. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you feel that a friendship or uh, an intimate relationship is holding you back from this next exploration, from this new you, from reinventing yourself, it's like, oh, I know you, you always this, you always that. 10 years ago, even last year, like last year, fuck that, you know, like it's <laughs> so yeah. It, it, yeah. you need someone as a partner who will allow yourself to constantly keeping at least like a neutral openness mm -hmm. yes leaving a lot of space for you to be like okay le, 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 like allow space for change mm -hmm. basically it's very very important and not just for you but you also want a partner who has this freshness in them if you see that two years later they're still in the same place you're like oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh, i need to see growth and evolution yeah. here and the relationship itself as well there is this need for the relationship to constantly reinvent itself. And I mean, the, the, the third line has the highest rate of divorces, you know, like, I mean, the one three has the highest rate of divorces, but the, the third line, and, and I keep seeing the same challenge for third line people, you know, it's like, how do you combine on, especially let's say you're one three, your first line is looking for the solid person, this, this solid relationship, this foundation, like, ah, oh, it would be so nice to be able to, to, to rely on, on this solid thing and the solid person. On the other hand, your third line needs so much change and variety and first, like how can I make those two things combine? Um, there needs to be in the relationship constant coming and going. There needs to be space. The third line needs its time alone, obviously, but there needs this enough time and space to miss the other. Mm -hmm. enough time and space actually for each person to reinvent itself and then coming back together and so it can be done on a daily cycle obviously yeah so to not be all the time together because if you spend your time all the time together at some point the third line is just going to accumulate this and then just run the fuck away for good mm -hmm. 
you know, and then just be like, I, I can't, it's, it's, it's too much, and then it's going to need to do something extreme, you know, and, and, and go completely on the other side. So to give yourself that enough space um, to breathe for your own process of exploration, and then also, again, for to have, in a way, those breakups and coming back together within the relationship. Like, letting go of the old, like, okay, that was one phase of the relationship, and I know it because I'm, I'm in a relationship for the last three years with the one three, so I, I, I see her needs. Uh, letting go of the old, letting go, okay, that, that was one cycle of the relationship, and there's like a clear cut, and actually we've gone through a lot of physical separations in the relationship, being in different countries and so on. And that's, that's the third line at play, you know, like clear cut and then space and then coming back together. And so you need a partner who is able to do that. Are you able to let go of the old and welcome the new? And it's on a, again, it's, it's on a small scale, but also on a larger scale, you know, maybe at times do spend time apart and even far away from each other. You know, maybe, maybe spend time in different countries. Maybe don't like, you know, you need to find really what you need on different uh, time scales, mm -hmm. basically. And so that's the way for the third line in relationship. But if you don't know that, or if you don't allow yourself, or if you don't, you know, claim those needs, you will always run, run into the same wall, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and based on that, you know exactly who you need also as a partner. Because it, ta it takes someone special who is willing to get on that journey, mm -hmm. you know, of of this relevance and, and, and freshness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can completely relate to, to all the things that you just said. Not only in relationships, but I also can give my own experience uh, at the business level. Uh, because we have all these different interests and what you notice sometimes is you're, you have a certain period of time that you're interested in something and then after that time your interest changes and you want to do something else. So don't try to be this person, don't try to be aligned too. You know, that has this one specialty and that's the one thing that he's yeah. known for and that's it. Allow smaller circles, allow uh, more versatility, you know, and then you do this for a certain period of time and you create a container knowing that in the future that you might run out of fuel of, of interest for this thing. And then you create that container and then you close that container and you move on to the next thing that you want to experience. And maybe in the future, you will go back to that first container. I, I have observed those cycles within myself that you orbit a few different things. And then you come back to that thing from a fresher perspective after doing your exploration of these other things. And it's like how these all other subjects have enriched and up leveled my vision about this place that I was much before, you know? So I don't know. Uh, I've been always a musician my whole life and I have periods where I did more music, I created more music and periods that I, I had it like on the side. But the practice of spirituality, of meditation, of doing all this um, soul searching and then coming back to the music brought a completely different perspective to it, a completely different energy, a vitality, a creativity, because that exploration brought some of the richest elements uh, from that other thing into uh, this interest. So. I don't think that you're going to have a limited interest, but you're going to be orbiting towards a few uh, different planets, let's say, or spheres that have something in common even when they might seem like they don't. Yeah, I think for the third line, it all boils down to freedom and openness and being able to be very versatile, you know, because that's like... The worst thing you can do to your third line is put them in a cage. Mm -hmm. And again, it's the same in a job situation and with your life's work. And it's the same with relationships. You know, that, that that's the thing. Like, there needs, like, again, coming back to relationships, even if you have one partner, it doesn't mean that you need to be in open relationships. Mm -hmm. But, although it's, it is a good profile for the third line, but... Um, if you are a third line and you're in a relationship, make sure not to let go of your other social life. Mm -hmm. Yes, keep exploring different circles, keep meeting new people. You need to feel free, you know. So having an extremely possessive and controlling partner for the third line is really not ideal at all. Yeah, you need someone who allows you for, for space, mm -hmm. you know. And again, it's the same with, with your work, you know. It, there needs to be this constant exploration. And like you said, one sphere feeds the other. 
you know at the end it all comes together in this grand picture and it all makes sense and and the the worst thing that a third line can tell themselves is like oh um i'm moving on from this thing it was just a failure uh i i it was all for nothing it's never for nothing mm -hmm. that's the thing that the real talent actually and gift of the third line is to be able to take the wisdom from one experience from one sphere and transfer it into the others that's the, that's the real key it's like hey it's never it, like you just finished a relationship it was not for nothing you learned so much in that and you're going to take it into the next you're going to take it for yourself you can take it into your business so this thing of being able to connect all those different experiences that's when it all starts uh making sense that that uh, brings uh, an interesting insight uh, and it's related to something you mentioned before about the other person allowing yourself a clean slate allowing yourself that 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 freedom to be someone that is not who you were yesterday um, so yeah but basically having this freedom to not be um, constricted by the things that you did in, in the past and, and being able to get the opportunity to get a clean slate uh, every day and be a different person or, or to allow your evolution to allow you this this permission to to grow and evolve from whatever you did in the past yeah because for the third line the new cannot come until the old you know was was clearly uh like once you let go of the old basically you know it's it's and we're going to see in the fourth line that is the opposite strategy but for the third line it's all about the ability to let go and move on and then they don't even need to look for the next thing. It will just come to them. It, they will just bump into that next person or that next thing. It's just going to happen for them. But for the third line, it's always about cutting the ties with the old, basically. Mm -hmm. Like the shadow of that is in relationship is a bit, you know, just denying the old, denying previous patterns, which might still be there. You know, it's, it's or again, this thing of the escape artist, you know, of just constantly moving to a different place and moving to different friend circles, moving because, and actually not really owning up, mm -hmm. you know, and, and running away when things get a bit uh, uh, difficult. Mm -hmm.